In this lab, we'll be using Centrify Access Manager to create our zone, configure the zone defaults, and configure some computer roles. In addition, we'll be assigning some role assignments at the zone level. We're going to be performing this in Client 1 with Jesse, the Unix Administrator. First, we're going to open Access Manager. And notice that Access Manager gives you the opportunity to change domain controllers and connect as a different user. Since we have delegated access, we don't need to do this. So we're going to press OK. This is Access Manager here. We're going to go on the left pane and we're going to right click on um, Zones. We're going to expand that. We're going to right click Zones and we're going to create a new zone. Our zone is going to be called HQ because all servers are located in the headquarters so next we're gonna go and we're gonna pick a hierarchical zone in this blog we will never use classic zones because classic zones are flat and they're inflexible we're gonna be using a standard zone notice that with centrify you can also use SFU zones this is a very neat feature because some customers may have extended their schema to use SFU, so you can reuse those Unix attributes for that. And that's it. We have our first zone. Now we're going to configure the zone for the defaults for Unix identity management. We're going to put our Unix hats on and think about this. As you've seen in some of the blog postings, a Unix identity is comp comprised of login, UID, GID, etc. So in terms of unit user defaults, um, when you use Centrify, by default, it's going to be using the SAM account name or the account name of the user um, to designate um, the, um, the login name. Then in the UID, we have several options, but we're going to generate the UID from the SID. The system ID is a unique identifier for the user. Therefore, the UIDs are going to be unique, but they're going to be very long. The rest, I'm, I'm OK with that, because in terms of geckos, we're going to have the display name. Home directory is going to be based on the platform, and shell is going to be picked automatically. To be consistent, we're going to use the same setting for GID. So we're going to generate the GID from SID. And that's it, we have configured our zone defaults. The next step is gonna to be to configure some of the computer roles that we have designated. Remember, in our use case, we have two types of servers, database servers and web servers. So we're gonna expand this a little bit. We're gonna to go to computer roles. We're gonna right click and do create computer role. The first one is gonna be database servers. We're gonna pick ID, and this is a security group. We already have created those groups in a previous lab. So we're going to just uh, just find it in this particular case. I guess it's probably Unix. And there you go. We have database servers. So this is going to be the security group that is going to contain the computers that are going to be our database servers. Notice that you get a members node and a role assignments node. This is going to be more really important in a in the next lab. Let's create our web servers. Again, we're going to reuse the security group that we already created. Unix. We're going to find now, and in here we're going to pick um, Unix web servers. So at this point, we already have our zone configured, the zone defaults. And we have two computer roles. Let's take a look at the role definitions. By default, with uh, Centrify, we already have a few roles that we can reuse. But uh, in the next lab, we're going to talk about creating a sysadmin role, that is a person that is allowed to run things as root, but they don't need to know the root account. And also, we're going to create a regular user role. Thank you.